I had arrived in Jaipur, the pink city named for its many terracotta pink, buildings, palaces, centuries-old forts, and the enchanting Oberoi Raj Villas. My first stop in one of Chairman Vicky Oberoi's majestic masterpieces. My father said to me, why don't you build and operate hotels that are the best in the world? And that's precisely what he's done. Abby walked me around, past the historic temple, through the turrets, and along the moat, all built to resemble the real 19th century Nala Fort, which, oh, by the way, oh, it's beautiful, belongs to Vicky. So welcome to the tented rooms at the resort. We wow. call them luxury tents. So exotic. Yeah, so in the olden times when the king and queen would traverse across lands, they could not construct anything which was completely permanent because that would be considered an act of annexing one's land. Royalty would move like a caravan. Look at the embroidery. The golden threads would catch the light. It actually feels like you've come into the set of a moving picture. It does feel like a movie. For many, many centuries, people have traveled to this mystical land to be able to find that center, to be able to travel to themselves and find the reasons that they came to India.